Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel, Rachel Ray here, and today I have a very fun unboxing for you. Finally, I have a round versus square in a store I've never heard of before. <laughs> okay, so confessions here. I've never done a round versus square of the same painting before ever, but I thought it would be really fun if I did it in a store that I've never heard of as well, so that we can find out about a different store together as well. So this could be really, really good, or really, really bad, or just indifferent, who who knows. Um, the store is called Iota? Am I saying that right? Something like that. On AliExpress, I will link these paintings down below this video, so please check out the description. They were not very expensive. I'll put all the tracking details up here on the video for you so that you can see uh, how long it took and all that kind of jazz. So, I don't want to break these. This is a good thing already. So these are tiny paintings, if you couldn't tell. Ta-da! Okay. Right. So, interesting. Let's see. We have two toolkits that are identical, even though one is round and one is square. They put tweezers in both, which is interesting. So thank you for that. We have Mosfa boats, wax, pink pens, and baggies. It looks like there's about four or five baggies in each, which is fine. I have loads of baggies anyway. Um, so great. Uh, we have a packet of round drills and a packet of square drills. Excellent. And then we have the two canvases. Now, these, <laughs> I always lose the rubber bands. Uh, these canvases are rolled around a foam core, which is very small, admittedly. See? Uh, and so they're pretty well rolled tightly. But again, this is an experiment. This is not to be framing or giving to people as gifts or whatever, what have you. Um, but they look teeny tiny. Oh my goodness. Hi, Luna. You want to check it out? Okay, so the picture, I'm going to put it on the screen. Have a look at the picture here. And it's kind of like an abstract butterfly on rose, butterflies on roses. Uh, I need help. <laughs> I need help trying to name this. I don't even know what to name it. Um, We'll have to find a pretty name. If you can think of a very pretty name for this picture, please put it down in the comments below and I will use it uh, from, for our future videos with this, these rather. I'm going to work on them. The idea is I'm going to work on them simultaneously or one right after the other and whatever I can do, uh, time willing. I'm just looking at the back of the canvas to see how good it's in, what condition it's in. Um, and then we're going to compare which picture looks better. I've never done this before. I've seen other people do it, but I want to do it for myself. I chose the most colorful painting that I could because I wanted it to be busy. I have seen others where the painting wasn't busy and I picked a small one because I want it done fast. I know, I know that it's not going to, it's not going to look great. Okay. Like I know the details not there. That's not the point. The point is to, to see which looks better overall. Now, do not come all the way off, please. I'm going to do just like I did with the other little paintings I just released on my channel today uh, from Red Apple. If you haven't seen that, please go check that out. There we go. I'm just flattening this out now. Wonderful. Yes, sometimes I put on silly accents. Ugh. No offense. Ugh. Okay. So that is the square one, and now I'm just going to peel this back. I hope you all are doing well. It has been 
kind of a strange week for me. Woo! Oh, I cut it really close on that one. Okay, so luckily for me, the glue extended quite a quite a bit on this one because <laughs> otherwise I would have taken the whole paper off. Right, so let's do it. Let's see what they look like without the cover paper. Okay, so here we go. We have them side by side. You can see that the square painting is slightly darker, probably because of all of the grid lines. Um, but that could be just me seeing it that way. Um, they're supposed to both be 20 by 25, and yet this one looks more zoomed in for some reason. I do know that rounds are bigger than square, so that could be it. But it also looks to me like there's less overall color change or less definition here. But that could just be, you know, uh, the grid. But the the adhesive on this one has definitely started to wrinkle and like bubble up a little bit um it was probably the one on the inside i didn't pay attention maybe when i'm unboxing this you can see for yourself which one was on the outside and which one was on the inside you know the the tensile strength of the roll itself i'm sure was an issue but that one the, the round one is perfect. There are no problems with the adhesive on that. I'm sure they don't use a different adhesive for each. Now, let's have a look, a close look at symbols. A little bit blurry, especially the fours over there. But it's, it's legible. It's still legible, and I think it'll be fine. It's a, it's a small painting. It's really not that difficult for me, I think. I think. I'm going to go ahead and put, roughly put this down on top, like so. Just enough to pick it up, and then I'm going to move it to the side for a moment. I know some of you are cringing. Sorry. <laughs> and then we're going to look at these symbols. I don't know what Luna is doing right now. These are also a little bit blurry. Uh, printing wise, like over here, I think those are nines. Yeah, they're nines. Okay, looking at it through the viewfinder of the phone is actually clearer than real life. I've heard like people like Cindy B talk about that before. I've never had that problem before. So that's something to be aware of. Their symbols aren't exactly clear. So I'm gonna put the paper back down on these and have a look at inventory and everything and I'll be right back. This is the first time I've ever had a broken bag of diamonds uh, with a diamond painting. I guess it was bound to happen at some stage. Uh, and by the looks of it, most of these colors have the divots in them. So it could be really interesting to see uh, what, what happens with these squares. And what's also really interesting is that there's more colors in this than the, this. I don't know if something wrong is happening here, but let's speed up this footage and have a look. Okay, so the square one says that it has 30 colors, and there's five bags of 310. Wow, okay, let's check it. Have 
all of the colors needed for the square drill painting. Now I'm going to go ahead and count out the, the round drills and we're going to have a look at the colors afterwards and I'll let you know my final thoughts. Okay, there are also 30 colors with this painting, this the round drill painting, so that is interesting. Um, let's go. So we have all of the drills for the round drill painting as well. One thing that I did notice right off the bat is that there are less 310 in this painting than in the other painting. But again, round drills are bigger than square drills, so that's not exactly a difference that I wasn't expecting, if that makes sense. But the proof will be in the pudding. I'm going to put the drills side by side, but I will wait until tomorrow when the light is better to show you. So let's go. Hey everybody, it's the next day and I just wanted to show you the colors of these drills in these diamond paintings. While a lot of them are similar in number, they aren't the same dye lot, which doesn't really surprise me based on what I have f learned about drill manufacturing companies and their craziness that's happening right now. So for example, and this is just a side note, but this is 606 for round and square. They are not the same shade not even close. This is way more vivid. This is much darker. Uh, so the colors, I thought when I took them out of the bag that they were different. Um, but I think it's just, to be honest, like some of the colors are strange dye lots. This is the same DMC number on both bags and yet this is significantly darker than this one so um, I'm not exactly as hopeful as I was earlier about this painting uh, I think that this one is definitely going to be more vivid than this and so what I'm going to do is I'm going to do the round one first and then I'm going to do the square one because the square colors make me happier looking at them. And I don't know if other people are like that too. I get into color moods and I really want to have a certain color in my life or I buy a diamond painting based on the predominant colors in it. Um, Nightbringer. What was I thinking? <laughs> I'm just kidding. But overall, these are the colors anyway. And I hope that you can kind of see. I know you're not going to be able to exactly see what I'm talking about. But trust me, when I do my final post review of these two paintings side by side, I guarantee you will be able to tell the difference. And it should be very interesting because they are the exact same painting. There wasn't any difference on the website in the two. One wasn't contrasted and the other brightened or darkened or whatever. It, it's exactly the same image. So I suppose we'll just have to uh, wait and see, you know? So I hope that you enjoy following me on this journey. I hope that I can have the two of these completed by the end of the summer. I'm not going to push myself because I do have a Christmas present, Christmas present, Christmas and September present to finish, but follow my channel, subscribe, and I will definitely update you once I'm finished. I really appreciate everyone watching this video. Please don't forget to, forget to give, sorry, 
I want to say thank you to everyone who's watched this video, especially till the end. Please give me a thumbs up if you liked this video and if you'd like to see more like it. If you want to give me a thumbs down, go ahead, but please tell me why you gave me a thumbs down in the comments down below. I'd really appreciate hearing your comments as well. With that being said, I will let you go. I hope you all have a wonderful day, a fantastic weekend, and I will see you all in my next video. Take care, guys. Bye!